Hey everyone and welcome back and happy 2023. So we got a uh, first news uh, video of the new year and actually there's a lot of this is actually a lot of stuff here that I uh, was kind of surprised was going to be uh, announced uh, some stuff oh some stuff from vinegar syndrome which I did know which was announced this past week uh, which I will get to in a moment but first off we got uh, several announcements from uh, Shout Factory and Screen Factory. Same company, but you know, two different sides of the same label. So first up, I'm going to go over the uh, Shout Factory titles. So uh, I believe these are all March releases. So coming March 21st is the movie Sorry Wrong Number. It's coming to Blu-ray. It's going to be region a lot. Details will be announced at a later date, but uh, if you've ever seen that, that's actually a really, really good film. Next up, also coming March 21st uh, to Blu-ray, looks like region a locked as well, is the Richard Pryor film Critical Condition. Don't say anything about uh, extras or anything in the works, so I'm guessing it could be kind of plain, but that is up for pre-order right now. Uh, now, both of these films, actually <laughs> moving too fast here, they both retail for $29.99, uh, each one is up for uh, pre-order at the Shop Factory website for $23.99 currently. And I believe these are not exclusive, so they should be up for pre-order in other places soon enough. All right, and next up, uh, another Blu-ray release, also due March 21st, is the movie Crazy People, starring Dudley Moore and Daryl Hannah. Again, no news about extras in the works or anything, so I'm guessing it's going to be kind of plain. Uh, and it is also region A locked and same price $29.99 retail $23.99 currently a pre-order. And then we move into the 4K releases uh, again still with Shout Factory. Uh, so first up a 4K release of the movie Wanted starring James McAvoy, Angelina Jolie, and Morgan Freeman. So that is due at March 28th uh, for pre-order right now for $34.99. Again extras in that are in the works. Uh, now that is going to be a two disc set so 4K disc and an included Blu-ray. The included Blu-ray will be region locked and then the other 4k release under the shout factory banner is the movie streets of fire that's again 4k release due out march 14th up for pre-order for 34.99 and again that uh extras are also in the works that's gonna be a three disc set so i assume a 4k release and two blu-rays and the blu-rays on that will also be region a locked um so i assume that's probably going to mimic their previous blu-ray release in that regard but it is nice going to get a 4k release that actually should look really good in 4k because i remember actually the blu-ray looked really great so now we get to Screen Factory, starting with the Blu-ray announcement. So coming March uh, 14th is the movie Razorback is actually getting a Blu-ray release. Uh, again, extras are in the works, um, and that is going to be region A locked. There's a heads up on that. Uh, for pre-order, currently for $29.99. I assume that price will come down on other sites like Amazon and everything as we get closer to release. Another one that I'm so happy finally got announced, as <laughs> this one I've been waiting for for a long time, and uh, coming March 21st is a Blu-ray release of the movie Dr. Giggles. Finally getting a Blu-ray release. And there's gonna be Region A locked Blu-ray. Again, extras are also in the works. So be, uh, details will be announced later in the, probably next month sometime. And the pre-order is up for $26.99 at Shout Factory. Again, pre-orders and other sites will be up soon, I'm sure. And then we get to the two 4K releases. Uh, one of these, nice release. The other one, I'm over the moon excited about. Um, so I'm gonna do these in order of my excitement. So <laughs> not not to diminish this first announcement because it is a cool announcement, but we're getting a 4K release of the movie Dead Silence and that is due out March 28th. It's gonna be a two disc set. So obviously a 4K disc and a Blu-ray. The include Blu-ray will be region I locked. Again, luckily 4K is a region free format. It's up for pre-order currently for $34.99. And again, uh, details on that will be released at a later date. But that one is getting one of their bundle uh, releases. So the bundle will actually have, uh, let's see, I believe two different slip covers um, as well as covers uh, or posters of the two different covers, which you can see here. I don't, I don't believe it's a steel book or anything. It's really just two different slip covers that you can get. And this bundle uh, is on pre-order for $39.98, also slated for March 28th. Further details will be announced on the line. Now, this is the one I'm super excited about. Coming March 28th as well to 4K is the movie The Exorcist 3. I know there have been a couple jokes online because of the whole Dahmer thing, but it's like, okay, I, jokes aside, I love Exorcist 3, and I'm so excited that this is finally coming out in 4K. I was kind of hoping this would get the 4K treatment and it's going to be a three disc set uh so again 4k and probably two blu-rays i assume the blu-rays are more or less going to mimic uh their previous blu-ray release which was a fantastic release so i probably it's going to be probably similar to the other releases with a 4k disc will 
Uh, just basically have the movie on it. And the longer cut should be included as well, but that's not going to be 4K um, only because obviously the lo the extra footage is only literally only exists on video cassette. But details on that will also be announced uh, down the line. But I'm just super excited that this is coming in 4K. Again, pre-order price is for $34.99. This is actually one I did not want to wait on. I actually went in and got my pre-order in with them because I also want uh, the little poster. What are the sizes again? 18 by 24 uh, poster of the original po one sheet artwork. Plus, hopefully, it hasn't always worked out, but hopefully uh, maybe I'll even get it like, you know, a week early and I can do a review on it. So definitely wanted to cover the uh, Scream and Shout Factory titles. Now I wanted to jump over to Vinegar Syndrome. So Vinegar Syndrome has their subscriber sale going on this week. Uh, it does end this weekend. So again, that is a time thing. Um, if you have any interest in becoming a subscriber, it's very expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of money up front and you do actually have to pay tax on it, which I was not ready for because I was like, okay, it's a lot of money, but you know, it's like, okay, I think I can swing it. And then I went to check out and the tax was added and I was like, oh God. And that was even with my, uh, you know, discount after, because I'm renewing my subscription. I was like, oh man. But I did want to cover some of their new titles for this month. Some of these are included with the subscription. Some of these are or not so I'm gonna kind of jump around here a bit so uh, first up is actually a new one in their Picarama line called the Beast in Space from uh, 1980 and this is from Italy right is it Italian yeah it's an Italian uh, release so an Italian adult film and it's a region free blu-ray which is good and it's getting a new 2k scan from the original 16 millimeter camera negative next up is a new title in their vinegar syndrome archive line and that is the movie Ted Bundy from uh, 2002 it's a region free blu-ray it's getting a new 2k scan from the original 35 millimeter camera negative and it is loaded with extras which is nice to see I don't think I've actually seen this version but a buddy of mine said it's actually really good next up vinegar syndrome actually has a new line that they've introduced and i'm actually pretty interested in i gotta hold off i'm picking it up unfortunately uh, just because of cost but um they do have a new line called vinegar syndrome labs and it looks like it's concentrating on older films which is really really cool first one is flesh and fantasy from 1943 starring Edward G. Robinson, Barbara Stanwyck, Charles Boyer, Betty Field, and Robert Cummings. It's a Region A locked Blu-ray though, so do keep that in mind. But it has been newly scanned and restored in 2K from its 35 millimeter dupe negative, which is good because I believe at the time, you know, some films were still being shot on film stocks that unfortunately did not last. I'm glad a film like this is being restored. And the other one that got announced is the movie, uh, let's see if I can, Kuruku Beast of the Amazon from 1956. And this is also getting a new 2K uh, transfer from its original 35 millimeter dupe negative as well. And this is actually pretty exciting that they're, again, sort of branching out um, and trying sort of different things. I like that they're kind of going for some of these older uh, obscure films as well. And what's nice is that, you know, they're not abandoning like any of what made their label, you know, what it is, which is good. And again, that line is called the Vinegar Syndrome Labs line. And now we get to the regular Vinegar Syndrome titles. First up are a couple Blu-rays. First title is the movie Frostbiter from 1995 getting a region-free Blu-ray release and a new transfer, new 2K transfer from the original 16 millimeter camera negative. And this next film, um, I may not be able to say the full title <laughs> uh, on uh, YouTube. So uh, I'm gonna show it. Um, so it's Infernal. You can see the full title there. Um, I don't know if I can say that word or not. I know it's, it's, they're changing rules and I don't want to take any chances, but you can see what the title is. And the, this film is from 1988. It's a region free Blu-ray as well. Get a new 4K transfer from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. Uh, but again, it is a Blu-ray release. And next up is uh, some more Hong Kong films, which I'm so glad that they're continuing on with these. This is like a multi-film set. It's called Made in Hong Kong Volume 1. And it looks like it comes with uh, three films. It looks like The Demon's Baby, Erotic Nightmare, and The Deadly Camp. Camp, right? Yeah, Deadly Camp. And it's going to be a two-disc uh, Blu-ray set, region-free, thank goodness. And each film is getting uh, new 2K scans from their original camera negatives. And I'm glad they're continuing on these because the thing, thing about Hong Kong films too is the fact that like I think a lot of them aren't really... 
Um, or I mean, hopefully it's better now, but I know for a while, like they weren't really being stored well. So a lot of, you know, a lot of them, you know, deteriorate over time. Some, you know, obviously disappear. Sometimes you only get access to, um, you know, just film prints only because the negative's gone and everything. So it's kind of, you know, I'm glad when some of these companies, you know, Veneer Syndrome, Arrows, and other ones, some of the, and a couple other companies are trying to release some of these Hong Kong films because I don't want them to disappear. Especially some of these obscure ones, which obviously it's very easy for it to disappear forever. And the next two are 4K releases. Uh, first up is a new one in their Vinegar Syndrome Ultra line. And that is uh, actually uh, the movie Sidekicks. The one with Chuck Norris and, uh, what's the name? Jonathan Brandis. Sally is no longer with us. From, what was this from? 19? 92 and it's a 4k disc as well as a region free blu-ray which is good and it does have a new transfer from the original 35 millimeter to camera negative so i'm glad that they're still continuing with this line even if it is not included in the subscription it is an extra cost but um i do like that they're at least continuing with some of these uh different kinds of 4k releases you know which is cool and i kind of like that it's something a little different as well you know i don't mind kind of like what they did with um you know, uh, Cloak and Dagger, for example, you know, just doing different kinds of films. I like that. And then finally, the one I am definitely super excited about, and luckily is included in the subscription, um, is a new 4K release of Stuart Gordon's From Beyond, which I am so happy about. Getting a 4K release and a Blu-ray. Now, the Blu-ray, included Blu-ray, will be region A locked. And it's getting a new 4K transfer from the original 35 millimeter camera negative. Um, I do need to double check. Um, I believe it ports over some of the extras from previous releases but it does have a new uh, making of documentary called Re-Resonator. I think I said that right. Looking back at From Beyond, it's a 97-minute new making of, which is very cool. You know, it's a feature-length documentary. And I wasn't sure at first because I was like, wait, does this include like the unrated cut? And I only saw one cut listed and I was like, oh no, is it only the R-rated cut? But actually, no, it says here, or it says somewhere, where did I see that? Uh, fully uncensored 4K restoration created by Vinegar Syndrome specifically for this release. So it looks like it is actually the uncut version. Now, the difference between the theatrical and the uncut, um, it's, I think, just a couple seconds, you know, a couple extra seconds of gore. But I'm glad it is the uncut version and not the R-rated version, even if the uncut bits are, you know, maybe not as clear as the rest of the film. I don't care about that. I'm just glad it is the uncut version. You know, I'm not a stickler for... That kind of thing, you know, when it comes to like theatrical cut and like an alternate cut, it's only if there's like a big difference between the two, like if the, you know, like, like a director's cut or something has a lot of different, you know, extra scenes or something where it's actually kind of a different cut, then I want both cuts available on a release. But if it's only like an uncut version where it's only like a couple seconds here and there of stuff they had to cut out for an R rating, um, I'm fine of just getting the unrated cut. You know, I'm totally okay with that. So I'm glad that's the case here. Anyway, I know I'm sort of rushing through some of these. Hopefully, uh, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Wanted to cover these. I know I have other news to get to. And I also have to do my update video. I meant to have that up sooner, but a lot of stuff... Uh, sort of came up that uh, I have had to deal with. So I do plan on doing that update video uh, hopefully over the weekend. That's my goal. So again, if you have any questions on any of these, I'll try and answer them as best I can. Or if you have just want to, you know, if you're excited about any of these, definitely let me know because there's a few announcements here I'm for sure excited about. And again, Happy New Year to all you guys. I really appreciate every single one of you. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.